Like, literally, whatsoever. I can't see me. I can't see anything. Well, you look good. Yeah, thank you. But I think I'm going to have to move down. What is I, you moving down going to change the sun? Well, if I move... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. There we go. And that's how we're going to start the day. Just peachy, right, Rosie? I still can't see anybody. Well, they're looking up your nostrils. Are they? I can't see. I can't see. So I'm going to have to move to where I can see. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only live past crazy special. So what better place to be than here with me? So... You want to say good morning and go go away? Me and Rosie are having a difficult conversation this morning. Yeah. Go. You want me to leave? Give me a kiss. I'm not giving you a kiss. You told me to go away. I always tell you to get out. No. Get out. Today, y'all. Anybody want to? Oh, you're 15. Right. Can't say 14 anymore. (laughs) Rosie partied all weekend, y'all. So she was exhausted. And she had a, you had a good time though. You were cute. Huh? Oh, I took mail that's party she too. Wore your shoes all night. I took mine off. Yeah, I saw Rosie dance. She said so hard she came out of her shoes and mail does up. You at some point you gotta take the shoes off, girl. I need some lost my places, man. I can't hear anything. Oh, good. Yeah, they we party. Yeah, like way we were all in there. We were like, yeah, I can't hear anything. But they had a they had a good time. So. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I'm sitting, I know I look like I'm sitting crazy, but if I sit normal, I cannot see you. I can't see myself. I can't see anybody. I don't even, I feel rosy in my hair, but I can't even see her. So I have to sit like this so I can see you. Hmm? And then you're going to look up my nostrils, as Rosie says. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> It's going to be a great Monday, right, Rosie? It's Monday. It's Monday. All right, guys. So, let it... Love you. Be peaceful. Um, Have a great day. Give me a kiss. Yeah, but you got to come over here. I'm doing all the leaning. I had you, remember? Love you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Be peaceful. Mel, have a great day. Send me the pictures, Rosemont. I the lady is waiting anymore. on it. I don't have a signal anymore. I keep trying to tell you. I don't have a signal. All right, guys. Listen, we're going to get started. The fearless thought of the day, and I promise not to keep you guys long today. Um, because, I number one, I can't see you. All right, be peaceful. You got your lunch? You got your water bottle? No. Okay. Have a great day. All right, so the fearless thought for the day, guys, is... You got everything? I said, yeah. All right. Be peaceful, Mel. Be peaceful, Rosemont. Have a great Monday. So the fear to stop for the day is... In, uh, <laughs> so, Mel, it was Mel's turn to slam the car door this time and, sh- and knock the phone off. So... <laughs> that's Rosie's friend so all right so we're ready for real the fearless thought for the day guys is um y'all know when you when you're going through something y'all know I always say when you're going through crazy right we're living past crazy um but when you're going through the insanity of everything right and I'm looking at my notes because I wrote this down this morning when you're going through the insanity of everything there are relief periods in the middle of your crazy so those relief periods in the middle of your crazy have may have you think that maybe my crazy is not as bad as i thought it was just because there's a rest period in between the crazy doesn't mean it stops great morning miss valerie y'all this is a lesson when i tell y'all i I had to learn this lesson, and I ain't even going to lie. Some days, I'm still learning this lesson. Like, I'm still learning this lesson for real, for real. Y'all, I got the sun visor down because if I let it up, I can't see anybody or anything. But 
to live. Y'all, when you're going through crazy, when things are happening. So, y'all know confessions and conversations. I always talk about myself. So, when I was going through with my husband, my ex-husband, and he was crazy. So, he would, and if you've ever been in a domestic violence situation, you know the cycle up, they cycle down. So, in that period of them cycling down, after, you know, he done punched me in my lip, gave me the black eye, he done done all of that. There is that is when the rest period of the crazy begins. That's when it's oh baby, I'm sorry, I love you. That's when I get the flowers. And oh, I had all the diamonds. I had the diamond earrings, the the ring, the bracelet. I had the 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 outfits. I had the shoes. I had the matching hats. I had the fur coat. I had the reversible full length fur coat with the matching hat. I had the house. So it is in those rest periods of crazy that your mind will make you think that maybe my crazy is not as bad as I thought it was that's what I thought you know what this this diamond ring I got this, this nice bracelet I got on my arm maybe when he punched me in my mouth it wasn't as bad as I thought because at least this time I didn't taste blood and maybe it's not that maybe it's not that harsh maybe you know, this time when he called me fat and ugly, he didn't really mean it. And I really was dressed bad and I hadn't combed my hair in a couple of days and I could use a new haircut. And maybe if I spruce myself up, Lord no, he don't like coming home to me looking like this every day. So maybe he said it that way and he didn't mean it. Those rest periods in between your crazy will have you believing that your crazy is not real. Those rest periods in between your crazy will have you thinking your situation maybe is not as bad as you thought it was. Because your your mind is a it's a beautiful thing, it's a tricky thing, it's a dangerous thing, and it, it feeds on what you give it. So if I'm giving it negative, it's going to feed on that. And the minute I try to be optimistic about my crazy, it's going to be optimistic about it. Please understand, just because you have a rest from crazy doesn't mean the crazy stopped. So in an abusive cycle, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, there's always a lull, a break, a pause in the crazy where <clears throat> your person who you are interacting with, and this can be friendships, please use this in relationships to work, in, in your marriage, in your boyfriend, your boo thing, your side piece, you can use it in all, whatever situation you have. It may feel like this is absolutely crazy. And then you get that break in the crazy. And you start to think maybe, you know what, it, it really ain't as bad as I thought. I was, you know what, maybe what, you know what, JoJo, maybe you was really exaggerating that. that that's what it was. They, they didn't really mean it like that. You you was just exaggerating that. So you have that rest period. But just because there's a rest period, and please understand, for and I'm going to speak in terms of domestic violence, but once you've been through abuse, you then see the cycle throughout your friendships, your work relationships, everywhere. When I had that cycle, that break period of that relief period in abuse, please understand that lasts maybe and you can research this anywhere domestic violence hotline there's about a two-week cycle period where i'm going to have a break between my crazy that means from the last time he probably cussed me out hit me or whatever he did i got a two-week period and in that two-week period He's going to apologize. I'm sorry. I love you. I want this to work. You're the one for me. I don't know why I keep doing this. Let us pray because it's the devil. And maybe if you just pray hard enough, the Lord will forgive me and he will change my heart. Boo. So by that time, that gets full circle because they got to woo you back into the cycle because after they hit you, you're mad. And it's at that point or they've cussed you out or they called you names or the mental abuse is just too heavy. The emotional abuse is just too heavy. It is at that point that you're 
most ready to leave. That's the point you're most dangerous to them. And that's the point where you're most dangerous to yourself because you could leave and have a different crazy. So it's at that point is when he goes deep into what attracted you to him or her in the beginning. It is that girl you know i love you that's when they want to make love to you all the time they want to hold your hand they want to kiss you they want to be your best friend they all in your business you can't move without them but by the time that two-week period come around oh baby your crazy is right back just because you had a lull or the break in the crazy doesn't mean the crazy stop that simply means it was rev it was just revving back up it's resetting your mind to accept more of the crazy and if you don't believe me take a second take a second and look at your relationship look at your relationships even if you're not in an abusive one maybe it's mental abuse maybe it's emotional look at your work environment maybe it's there look at your friendships because i had to look at my friendships that in the cycle was the same well she didn't really <laughs> if i could have money the amount of times somebody told me somebody wasn't my friend and I didn't believe them because I kept making excuses for them because they would say little things. And y'all know how I feel about the word little. I hate when people say, oh, you got that little business. Oh, you wrote a little book. Oh, oh you have a little hair care line. When people say the word little in reference to anything that you're doing or about to do or that you're currently working on, please understand that means they don't respect now nothing that you're doing and instead of them saying they don't respect it they put the word little in front of it have you ever been guilty of that i know i have i've been guilty of that please understand y'all when you have a break in your crazy it doesn't mean your crazy has stopped nothing is more expensive than the, your peace and your freedom and your joy your peace of mind is priceless i tell anybody any day of the week my peace of mind is so priceless and when i realize that if i'm not peaceful i can't be peaceful for my children i can't go and do whatever it is i'm supposed to do in life i can't work a good job i can't show up anywhere i'm going to give everybody and everything half because let me tell you how deep crazy can get I was so crazy. I could go to work every day. I go to work every day. Good morning, my friend. I could go to work every day and function and do my work because my work was, it wasn't even routine. My, my, I had to force myself to focus on what I was doing because I was working in pharmaceuticals at the time. But there would be times where I would just stare into nothingness for 45 minutes. Because my brain was exhausted. I was mentally exhausted. And I knew, like when I got to work, I was excited, honey. I would chit chat and I would talk to everybody. But as the day went on, I got quieter and quieter because I knew it was coming time to confront my crazy again. Because I had a break in my crazy during the work day. Just because there's a break in your crazy does not mean your crazy has stopped. It is continuing. It just gave you a little break to reprogram your mind to accept it again. And that's all that means. There's nothing more expensive than your inner peace and your peace of mind and your joy. Right now, if, you, if you're if knee deep in crazy and you're at a relief period in crazy, meaning, golly, this, um, this week was crazy, but today is Monday and I got peace today. I had peace on Sunday. I had peace on Saturday. Oh, but it's Monday and my peace is about and my crazy is about to pick right up. So you had a rest period. And so what happens in an abusive relationship during that rest period is they reestablish your confidence in them. They reestablish the fact that you said you love them. They reestablish that connection that you long for. They reestablish all the things that they know that you want and you're looking for they take their, that rest period to do that so that now in this rest period you're believing all the things you're in love and you finally think you, you have a temporary relief of your crazy meaning oh thank god this period is over with oh my god oh thank you jesus that things are turning around 
until you front confront crazy, until you do something about it, the cycle will continue. It will get worse. It will not get better. Those rest periods will become shorter. And as those rest periods become shorter, they will care less and less about if you are resetting yourself to believe them or not, because now they know your behavior. They know that your behavior is to accept them and whatever it is that they give you. They know that the shame of whatever it is you're facing is greater than dealing with them. And so your crazy will continue. It will get worse. That period of maybe my crazy is not as bad as I thought it was. You'll have less and less of those conversations. It will consume you. It will have you like me standing in the shower saying, I know I'm not crazy over and over and over again. It will have you uh, cussing out the kids, being angry at work. It will have you mad and frustrated at everybody. Good morning, Michael. Just because there's a lull in your crazy doesn't make it any less true. Just because you think you have a break in your crazy doesn't mean it stopped. Crazy doesn't stop until you stop it. And sometimes we have to stop being a willing participant in it for it to stop. And, and whoever the manipulator is in that situation, whether it's a job, a friendship, or a relationship, they are professionals at what they do. You never underestimate your crazy, no matter how you define it. Don't underestimate it. Because the sole purpose of your crazy, whatever, however you identify it in life, is to get you to do whatever it needs you to do to provide for it. So in my abusive relationship, my ex-husband needed me to do things so it benefited him, not me. Everything revolved around him. So take a minute. Y'all know I was saying, look at your circles. So take a minute and look at your circles. Evaluate them. What is the relationship that you have or you do not have? Is it reciprocal? Is it the same? What are you guys thinking? What are you not thinking? Just because there's a break in the crazy doesn't mean the crazy has stopped. Just because you got a rest period in the crazy doesn't mean crazy stop thinking about the next plan of action crazy is a professional okay that's that's the only way to put it they are professionals i don't care if it's your friend your boss your job your man your boo thing they are professionals they are and every time we allow them to continue on we're just confirming with them that it's okay. It's okay to treat me this way. It's okay that you be crazy with me because I'm I'm okay with your crazy. And that's where we get caught up with the cra better the crazy you know than the crazy you don't. At least I know this. At least I know that. I don't know that over there. I'm scared of what's on the other side of crazy because I don't know it. Peace of mind and freedom are expensive. And they are spending your money. They're spending your soul's money every day. Every day. So just because there's a lull in the crazy doesn't mean crazy has stopped. Those relief periods in between crazy, they just building you back up again so that you will accept it. So that when it comes back, there's not a problem for it. I'm just saying that my friend is where the crazy comes in at. so if there's a relief period so if this weekend so here, here's my confession so my relief period from crazy was always Saturday and Sunday because I was married to a pastor and so I knew he was gonna beat me Monday through Friday maybe Saturday morning because Saturday afternoon going into Sunday, he needed to study for his sermon. You know, he needed to get his stuff together for his sermon. Now, Sunday morning, if he was a little stressed out, yeah, I was about to get popped in the mouth in the church office before he went out to preach. That, that, was, that was a guarantee. So, in those rest periods, 
And then, like I said, in a, it, if, if, if he had beaten me pretty bad, you know, like the time he pulled out my hair, after he drug me down the hallway, sat on me, and I passed out. After that period, my rest period was the full two weeks. Baby, I'm sorry. I love you. I didn't mean to do it. Let us pray. Jesus, help me. Maybe the Lord will see fit to fix our relationship. Let us go before the Lord. Let us lay it at the altar. Maybe we need counseling. Two weeks. Because in that, in that period of rest, in between your crazy... And please stick it in there, whatever you want. If it's a friendship, a relationship, a work relationship, whatever it is, stick it in there. And so during that break of crazy, that lull of crazy, crazy doesn't stop, number one. It's just allowing you to reset yourself so that you're going to accept it more. Meaning, it's, a lot, it's building up your confidence in it again. Meaning, he's telling me he loves me. And he loves my freckles and my smile. And then I'm getting all the diamonds and my hair is getting done. And I, I can get my nails and my toes done. Ooh, and maybe I can call my mama this time and I can talk to her by myself. And, oh, I get to talk to Courtney this time. And, oh, I can read a book and I can stay up late because during those two years, I wasn't allowed to read a book. I, I can only watch TV when... He wanted me to watch TV. I only went to sleep when he told me to. I only ate when he told me to. So during that two week, that rest period, when he was b building his confidence back up, so I had confidence in him that maybe he does love me. And maybe he really didn't mean to pull out my hair. I mean, I wasn't standing in the exact spot he told me to. And had I been standing there, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. So in that two week rest period, He's building my confidence in him back up. He loves me. I get the diamonds. I get all the things. They listening to me. We're talking and we're going and counseling. Oh, baby, things are going to get better. And then it's back at it again. Your crazy will never stop until you confront the crazy. Just because you have a rest period in between your crazy doesn't mean crazy stop. It is in that rest period between crazy mental emotional and abusive or job whatever you want to put and it continuing it's in that period that your mind says jojo it, it really wasn't as bad as you thought you you know he he's not a bad man he you know on the bare basics he, he ain't bad you know he he gotta you know he got some things he ain't as bad and your mind is a dangerous thing if you don't know how to acknowledge the thoughts that you think or maybe control them in a different way or be real about the thoughts that you're having at the moment. Because crazy will have you thinking your reality is not real. Like it will have you think that the reality of the situation, JoJo, is not as bad as you think it is. It just, it ain't that bad. It, it can't possibly be that bad. And so it's during those rest periods that your mind says, you know what, it's really not that bad because they, they're a good person. They're good people. That You know, it's, it's not as bad as you think it is. It is in those rest periods, y'all, that your mind will have you thinking your life is okay. It is in those rest periods that crazy will have you thinking, yep, it was you all along. It was never them. Crazy will have you thinking and going back to relationship, friendship, job thinking, let me try a little bit harder. Because if I try a little bit harder, maybe the crazy won't be as great. Because if you've ever been in an abusive relationship and your friendships can be abusive, even with nobody laying hands on you, it's the mental and the emotional abuse. Because if you find yourself adjusting to a friendship all the time and it's not reciprocal or they say the little or oh, girl i can't believe you wore that and what's that outfit and then it has you second guessing yourself oh girl i didn't mean that and we laughing and talking that rest period in between your crazies just helps you to reset your mind to convince yourself again that the situation and the person may be not be as bad as you thought they, ju they just setting you up boo that's all. Your crazy never stops. Your crazy is a professional. Never underestimate the crazy. Yes, those words will. Yes, ma'am. Those words will replay over. Yeah, they will. Your crazy is professional. You can play with it if you want to. Your crazy will kill you. Your crazy will eat you alive. Your crazy will have you thinking you're not good enough for anybody, anything, anywhere, anytime, anyhow. And you might as well sit down over in the corner and die today. 
because it had me thinking that as I was standing at the window thinking if I jump out now will the concrete really hurt as bad as him punching my head into that concrete wall is it gonna hurt that bad crazy is professional in the second that you think that there's a lull in the crazy and you think maybe you know what Jojo it's not that bad it's not as bad because you know what at the bare basis they're a good person baby it ne it's never and I promise you going to get better it's just not and you thinking and you saying well at least and he's not as bad as well at least at this job and it's not as bad as and I used to make this amount well it's not as bad as that rest period in between your crazy that will have you thinking that it's all you, number one. And they're building your confidence in them back up too. So that when they go back into their crazy, you're thrown for a loop. Like, damn it. Again? I fell for this again. JoJo, again. We're, we're having this conversation one more time. And then you're angry and you're mad at yourself because you fell for it again. Crazy will not stop until it kills you crazy will not stop until it takes you over mentally crazy will not stop until it takes you over emotionally it is persistent it's not playing it's a professional they know what they are doing and if we thank you and then you blame yourself guilty and if you don't think that you don't have to address it the cycle will continue. There will never be words that anybody in this entire world can say to you that will make you change your mind, that will make you want to leave. There was nothing, when I finally told two girlfriends, there was nothing they could say to me to make me leave. I left one time. I left before my birthday. Yes, I left one time before my birthday and I went. And if you read book two, uh, please go get book two. It's called Transformation. Um, Transfer. I forgot the forgot the name of my own book because I'm trying to make this thought. Transformation of Freedom. It's on Amazon. So in book two, I tell you how they had an intervention for me. So I went to my girlfriends and and all my former church members were there and JoJo and they were talking to me and telling me how I needed to leave and how this was crazy and this thing was going to happen and oh they did the intervention and when you need deep and crazy, guess what happens? You protect your crazy at all costs because you've learned the hard way that that's what you do. So even in that intervention, I couldn't hear. I was like, no, I'm not leaving because and then your crazy will always make you think you are always aware of what the crazy is going to lose if you leave it. OK, so I my crazy had me so programmed and trained <clears throat> that I knew if I left. This is what was going to happen to him. He had made sure that I understood that I left. I was messing up his ministry. I was responsible for him not having a job. I was the one responsible him for not telling the word of God. I, 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 he made sure all the weight of it was on me and none of it was on him. So right there in that pause and that crazy, when you think you're taking a break, you're not. And so that's why I say there's no, until you want to address the crazy for yourself, it's not going to change. Because after my friends had that intervention, I took up for him. Oh, yeah, I did. I went back. And we all know that when you go back to crazy, it just gets worse. I went back and I stayed another month and then it got exponentially worse <laughs> after that. Like life changing worse after that and it wasn't to that point where i'm standing at the door crying for 30 minutes at the door like if i open the door he's gonna kill me because he can hear the door open and it, but if i don't open the door surely i'm going to die within the next 24 hours right there until you're ready to confront the crazy either the crazy is going to kill you or you're going to do something about the crazy my friend Every rest period that you think you have in your crazy, you don't. You just don't. There is never a relief period during your crazy. You may think you have a relief period in your crazy, but you don't. 
Nothing is more expensive than your peace of mind and your joy. Nothing is more expensive. And guess what? Crazy doesn't care about you. They don't care about you, your dream, your mama, your daddy, your children, nor your soul. Period. At all. Whatsoever. So, in those rest breaks, in those periods where you think you're having a relief period from crazy, and that time when you're saying, well, JoJo, is, he's not as bad. Maybe JoJo is not as crazy as I thought it was. You know what, JoJo? is? It, now that I think about it, JoJo... And it ain't that bad. It, it just ain't. It, it's not that bad at all. <sighs> I think I can handle it. I, I think I can deal with it. And boom, crazy will knock you on your behind every single time. And then you're back in the loop of. And so, not only, let me tell you how professional crazy can be. Not only does it have you thinking. You've got to believe them because they every day they're inundating you with your fat, you're crazy. It, and I'm speaking on my terms. You're fat, you're ugly, never going to be anybody, nobody's going to love you. I'm hearing that every day for eight hours because some days I'm not allowed out of the house. Or some days I'm not allowed to work. That meant for eight hours a day, I sit, and that's why I hate looking people in the eye. If you ever meet me, it's hard for me to look you in the eye because he would make me stare at him for eight hours a day. And... He would say that to me until I had it drilled into my head. And then I'd have to repeat it back to him for eight hours. And then I would get a break to go pick up my child. And then I'd come back. And then if I didn't go to, if he didn't go to sleep, that meant I didn't go to sleep. So that meant it, it continued. So it was longer for eight hours, depending on what kind of mood he was in. So crazy will have you understanding their mindset, how they think. You already want to protect them because they taught you well. And then, you know, in that rest period where you was like, JoJo, it's not that bad. And then, bam, it hits you upside the head again. Right there, you hear him in your head, it, the job, the relationship. And then you have yourself in your head. So you got double the trouble. He's telling me, JoJo, you fat, you ugly. And I'm over here like, JoJo, you, you, got, two, you got two degrees. You ain't stupid, but you fell for this yet again. And so now I got double the trouble because I'm beating myself up. And oh, honey, he knows it. And so now he's helping me beat myself up. Oh, you stupid. No, I'm not. Oh, oh you went to college. Yeah. And where did that get you? Because now the arrogance and the ego is all in it. And so now you, your own emotion and mental is eating you up. Combined with his, boom, your crazy is not going anywhere. Your crazy is a professional, never underestimate it, and it's not something to play with. It cares nothing about you, your soul, and you're spending your soul's money on that. Your soul is priceless. Your mind is priceless. Your peace of mind is priceless. And when I tell you, once I left, and even after I left, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be like you're gonna leave the crazy and it's gonna stop. Oh, sister, brother, please understand it took counseling and years of self-talk, reading books, talking myself out of their way of thinking. But once I realized the peace of mind that I had, child, please. I am arrogant and mad and I have all the ego in the world when it comes to me protecting my peace of mind. You will not. I absolutely refuse for you to bring crazy to my doorstep and you think I'm going to accept it. Hell to the gnaw. When I, if you want to see the ego Jojo, if you want to see the mad Jojo, bring the crazy and I will show you. Yeah, it walks around behind. Yeah, it's a whole entire person. And so until you get to that point where your peace is priceless, like my soul's money is too expensive to be spending on you. Meaning the good Lord put me here for a reason. And you mean to tell me I'm giving you all of everything that the good Lord gave me to make you feel good, but then you're eating mine away? Get arrogant. Get mad about that. If you want to see me get mad, bring me some crazy. And and you think that I'm not aware enough to know. I know crazy in about every form. 
you you that's why i call myself the only live past crazy specials i know crazy i know it from the friendship level i know it from the marriage level i know it from the boo thing side piece level i know it on the job level and at some point you know crazy too it will continue until you do something about it the relief periods between crazy are not relief periods just because there's a rest period doesn't mean your crazy has stopped. It simply means it's giving you time to rest. It simply means it's giving you time to reset your mind. So when it come back and hit you upside the head with it again, you're going to accept it again. And you're going to be just as surprised again that it happened again. And then you're going to talk to yourself again. I can't believe this happened again. Don't play with your crazy. It's a professional. It is a professional and it is assuming and believing that you are weak and you're not going to do anything about it. So my sisters, my brother, however you define your crazy, I will always define it uh, as domestic violence. And sometimes I'll put it in, um, in, in, in relationship form or job form. Yeah. And, and let me tell you, if you don't become important to you, your crazy will assume you don't care about you. And it will take you away from you. That's why when you leave crazy, you don't know what you want. You don't know what you like. I had no idea what I liked. I didn't know what I liked to do. I, I didn't know what fun was. I, I knew nothing of me because it took everything from me because I said... I'm not important to me, so it ate all of me up, and it developed a new me that it wanted. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's how, if you don't know how the cycle works, that, my sister, is how the cycle works. Yeah, if you don't respect you, why should, exactly, because they're not going to. Please be clear. They won't. They don't care. Ain't no love. Ain't, it's not there. You, my sister, can talk yourself into believing anything that you want to believe. But and y'all know what my kids hate? When I say, let's get past the denials. Let's, when they want to tell me something I know they lying about, I say, okay, let's establish some. Let's get past the denial stage. Okay, we already know you're going to deny. We already going to know that you're going to lie and deny. So let's stick with the facts only. So sister, let's deal with the facts only. And the facts are crazy is killing you every single day. It's killing you slowly. It's slow walking you down. Now, it's up to you to decide what you want to do about it. And my brother, if Michael's still on here, he represents the brothers on here. What are you going to do about it? The last thing your crazy wants you to do is to realize you have a mind and that you can change the situation. That's why crazy inundates you all the time. That's why my crazy never left me by myself except to take a shower. Because he knew the second I had a moment of clarity, just a second of clarity, then it was going to be all over. That's why your crazy is on you like white on rice, ants on candy. Because the minute it leaves you alone and you have a conversation with yourself, like, girl, for real, did this what we about to do our whole life? Our whole life. The entire life. This what we going to do? Until you ready to have that conversation, it's not going to change. I'm just saying. So that is the fearless thought for the day, y'all. That was confessions and conversations. Just know those relief periods in between your crazy are not really relief periods. They just rest breaks to give you so they can build your confidence back up in them again. And just because they're rest breaks doesn't mean the crazy has stopped. At all. So I hope this has helped somebody. If it has, please make sure you share the video because sharing is caring. I know I'm frowning. It's because the sun is all the way in my eye. Like... I have I can see like when the screen moves up, but I can't see what anything says that I've been down. So guys, please make sure you share the show. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to YouTube. That's right, girl. That nine to five, Monday through Friday. Every day, all day. 
If your friends and family don't have Facebook, send them over to YouTube. Simply type in Fearless Morning Show and we will pop up and you can watch all the Fearless Morning Shows over there. Um, go over to livepastcrazy.com where you can grab you a li um, I Am My Sister's Keeper t-shirt. And if you still would like to have um, the ebook Foundations Matter, bit.ly forward slash Foundations Matter, um, you can uh, sign up for it over there. And please make sure you share that with a friend or a loved one. Please understand, just because there's a break in crazy, does not mean crazy has stopped. It doesn't mean that. Crazy continues. It just gave you a little break so you could catch your breath, so you can put up with it some more. Okay? And if this has helped you, if you know it could help somebody else, please make sure you share the video because sharing is caring. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. I hope you had a great Good Friday, a great Resurrection Sunday. I hope it was all that you wanted to be. And if you had a break in your crazy because it was Easter weekend and they wanted to be nice for the children and present to the church the loving man or woman that they assume that everybody think they are because, you know, it's a facade that they got to put up. I'm going to pray for you today because your crazy will continue today. It's going to show up and it's going to say, excuse me, did you think I forgot? that we're supposed to be crazy. <laughs> crazy never forgets. It never forgets. And it's never going to let you forget. At all. Ever. So, today, think about that. In those rest periods, have a moment of clarity. Stop thinking about them and think about you. Stop thinking about the job, the friendship, and think about you today. What is in the best interest of you today? So, guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday. I will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning at 7.15. Have a good one.